And from biological viruses, let's turn to the digital kind. On Thursday, Iranian citizens who tuned in to their state-run television channel were in for a shock. The channel was hacked only for 10 seconds, but it created quite a ripple. What did the hackers do in this time? They beamed photos of Iranian dissidents. They called for the assassination of Iran's supreme leader. Who exactly is this shadowy assailant? Tehran is pointing fingers at an old enemy. Our next report tells you more. Photographs of dissidents and a call to kill Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. These pictures beamed across the Iranian state television network on Thursday. The live broadcasts were hacked. It was a major embarrassment for Iran. Tehran is blaming an old rival for the hack, the People's Mujahideen of Iran. The group has long campaigned to overthrow the Islamic Republic. Now it seems to be getting active again. It had participated in the 1979 revolution, but later fell out with Iran's first supreme leader, Ayatollah Khomeini. In the 1980s, the group joined forces with Saddam Hussein. It fought alongside Iraqi groups in the eight-year-long Iran-Iraq war. In 1981, Ali Khamenei was targeted in a bomb attack. He survived, but the attack left his right hand paralyzed. The People's Mujahideen of Iran was blamed for the blast. In the years that followed, the Iranian regime launched a crackdown. Thousands of Mujahideen members were killed. The group did attempt some retaliatory attacks, but largely remained in exile. In recent years, its members have been trying to make a comeback. Several Western powers have taken off the group from their terror lists. The European Union made the first move in 2009, followed by the United States. It removed the Mujahideen from its terror list in 2012. Former US President Donald Trump went a step further. Hawkish officials like John Bolton and Mike Pompeo supported the Mujahideen. The group is now largely believed to be active in Albania, and it is targeting Iran. At a critical time, attempts are underway to revive the Iran nuclear deal. The Iranians are locked in tense negotiations with the United States. The White House says that the agreement is in sight, but there are roadblocks along the way. Former UN officials and Nobel Prize winners have published an open letter. They want the UN to launch a probe into a mass execution in the 1980s. Iranian authorities have been accused of executing thousands of political prisoners. Many of them were members of the People's Mujahideen of Iran. The cyber attack might bring attention to these demands. Bureau Report, World is One. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.